Hi ladies, um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work because Facebook has just crashed on me twice. Um, so, <laughs> not sure. Um, <laughs> sorry, we're a couple of minutes late because yeah, Facebook was um, doing something strange. So, uh, sorry, I'm not quite set up. Um, let me just mess about with that a second, get that out of the way. There we go. Hopefully we're there now. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. Um, I'm hoping that this is working. Um, uh, okay, so far. Brilliant. Lovely, lovely. So who's coming online? Hi, Jean. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Claire. Hi, Anne. Fab. Um, why is this not Why is this not scrolling down? There, there we go. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello, Lindy. Um, fab. Uh, happy, happy Wednesday. Block of the week day. Sorry, excuse me. My throat is really sore today. Um, hi, Carolyn. Hi, Wendy. Hi, everybody. You're coming online. Um, so I don't think I've got any news to tell you, actually. We've had a rep in today. Beautiful fabrics. Might have spent some money, um, you know, as ever. But they're not due into, like, February time. Um, my uh, allergies and hay fever are delightful today. They're really lovely. Um, everything's okay. Brilliant. Fab. Hi, Jill, as well. Um, yeah, it just, I tried to set it and then it crashed and then I tried to set it again and it crashed. I was like, oh, don't, it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. Facebook doesn't like me today. <laughs> so, um, you spoke too soon. I'm now freezing every so often. Ugh. Sorry guys. I think it's Facebook today because everything is, is okay. This end, I think, I think it's Facebook playing up. Um, not sure my darlings um so we're gonna do uh, we've had some more blocks come through today um uh, vicky we've had yours we're a lovely v and linda your letter and your quilts arrived today as well so linda boswell um so they're um in i think we've got about 40 so far so you've got about a week left now to get them in because we need them in by the first of july by the latest please okay so if you are going to do a letter please do get them in soon um uh, hi Claire, hello, hello. Um, so, so yeah, that's it. So today we're going to do a block, and I've been playing around with charm packs, different blocks for charm packs, um, because a lot of you were asking about this. And then this one actually works for charms and jellies. Okay, so um, I'm just going to grab this one down because it's up there from last night where I was fish, finishing around, playing around with it. Let me just take those pins out. Sorry, two seconds. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to come over to the overhead. Um, so this is the little block we're going to do today and we're going to tackle some partial seams today um now these could be made as little six and a half inch blocks like that okay you can just make lots and lots of them or put four together and you get a 12 and a half inch block which would look like that okay um quite a simple one to cut out and, and do um but we are going to look at partial seams which we haven't looked at for a long time so again for people that are relatively new to joining us and all it uses a charm pack or a jelly roll it's so brilliant for your pre-cuts but you can also it's partial seams are something that people get a bit scared of so I thought well I've been playing around with this one um and worked out yeah got it got it to do what I wanted it to okay so what you're going to need I'm using um this beautiful charm pack called soiree um we have got a few left on our website you might have picked it up in the charm pack sale last week um so i'm going to be using this one it's called soire it's really pretty really really lovely sort of pastels um little hats and all really really cute little cake and everything there um let me just open up my book because i wrote all my get my notes out um basically from your charm pack so it all it's all done with two and a half inch pieces or two and a half by four and a half so this would work if you want a big quilt if you want a small like play mat pram quilt or like wheelchair size quilt this at you one charm pack will will get you a quilt that measures about 28 by 28 which is a nice lap size um if you want something bigger you can use you can do exactly the same as this but use a jelly roll and it comes out about 54 by 54 with the jelly roll um, you could, of course, if you want to use charm packs, you could mix and match and use more than one. Um, hi, Patricia. Uh, you missed me yesterday, so caught up this morning looking after your grandson. Oh, he's off from school. He just loved, loved your laughter. Oh, bless him. <laughs> oh, well, that's very sweet. Thank you, darling. Um, first thing you're going to do with your charm pack is you're going to go through and you're going to choose four of them. And from your four, so you can see I've got a couple left over here, you're going to chop it up. So obviously this was two left over 
So you've got four two and a half inch squares. OK, you're going to need. 16 in total. Oh, my brain. Went. I had to remember my notes then. Yeah, you're going to need 16 in total. So choose four charm pack squares. I would go with the darker ones with this pattern. I think it works where you've got a bit of dark in the center with this one and cut them up so that you end up with. So from any of the charm packs, you've just cut down and down and you're going to end up with 16 two and a half inch squares. OK, like that. You then want to get grab some charms, OK, and you're going to pair them up and I would pair them up with contrasting colours. So I'm going to put like this one and that one together. So you've got a nice contrast. OK, um, maybe use that one and that one together. So I've got something a bit paler with something a bit stronger um, pair them up so that if you've got like a paler one like that, you've got a nice contrast to it. So what about that one? OK. This works if you've got a contrast. So uh, we're going to go one, two, three, and then I want one other set. So let's go with those umbrellas. And um, what should we have? Oh, we've got um, something a bit pinker. Let's have a go through this charm pack and go through it. something a bit pinker. Where's that one? There we go. Let's, well, let's have the, the cakes. Let's have the cakes on that one because we haven't got any cakes in this one. Okay. So you haven't got a, ma oh, there's a massive contrast with that one. I want something with a bit more oomph to it. What about that one and that one? That one and that one? That one. Let's use that one. I'll use the cakes in a, in another block. Okay. In, in, in the next set of blocks. So I've paired them all up. Okay. And you can do this with any charm pack or like I said, you can do this with a jelly roll. Um, you would pair up jelly roll strips. So I'm going to pair these up like that and line them back up. And I'm going to cut these in twos. In fact, actually, no, I'll cut them individually just so you use it. So I've got two. They're both face up. OK, so I've got them both face up and then we're going to cut them in half, first of all. So we're going to cut them down like that, right down the centre. So two and a half inches on my ruler, cut them in half like that. So how is everybody? Everybody OK? Hi, Ginny. You're watching on your phone. It's not freezing. Oh, that's good. And then what I'm going to do is I want to trim these to four and a half inches. OK, so I'm going to lay them all up together like that. Now, I'm not going to trim from one edge. I'm going to I'm going to find the four and a half inch line on my ruler, which is there. And I'm going to line that up in the middle so that I'm not dealing with as many of the serrated edges. OK, so I'm basically trimming off like a quarter of an inch either side. Um, so I've got my lines horizontal both ways on either side of the fabric. Trim off a little bit that side like that. OK, and then we're going to turn it and do four and a half. So I've trimmed these down now, the charm packs to two and a half by four and a half, which if you use a jelly roll, they're already two and a half inches wide, aren't they? You just need to chop them down to four and a half inches. OK, um, so for each block. I've now got can you see I've got. You need two charm pack squares which have been trimmed down. So for each block, I need two squares. They've been trimmed down to two and a half by four and a half. OK, you're going to keep them together. And then I want a two and a half inch square. All right. So each block, little like quarter block consists of that. So I'm going to pop that little pair aside. Let's do it this one now. So let's go there to there like that. And then I'm going to go two and a half down the side. Hi, Marianne. Hello. Yeah, well, we've had lots of people ask for more patterns to use pre-cuts. So um, that's what I'm playing around with at the moment is different patterns that use that work with pre-cuts. So this one, you've got a teeny bit of wastage, but do you know what? It's only a teeny bit and it works with the pattern. So here we go like that. Get rid of those little bits there. And then I'm going to just pop those back together like that. And then I'm going to use one of these two and a half inch squares with that one because I don't want it to be the same as the outside fabric. All right. And you would just work through your charm pack like that. OK. And you're going to make 16 little sets for each block. OK. Uh, it is a lovely charm pack, isn't it? This one's called um, Soiree. Where's the, oh, I had the little leaflet there a minute ago. Um, well, you can see it's on there. It's called Soiree. We've got them on our website. OK, 
So we're going to make what, what we're going to actually do this twice so I can show you the partial seam twice. OK, first of all, we're going to lay this out. So I'm going to got that one right in the center. I'm going to take my first color. It doesn't matter which one. And we're going to put this one like that. So you've got this right hand edge lined up. And then you're going to put this one at the top and it's got the left hand edge lined up like that. Then these two are then going to fit in. One's going to go there to the right and then one's going there to the left like that. OK, so that's basically how the block's going to get put together. But you you've got a partial seam, OK, which don't, don't be scared. Of partial seams, honestly, they're a lot, lot easier than people think they are. It just takes a little bit of thought. OK, not even really a little bit of thought, just, you know, a little bit, <laughs> teeny tiny little bit of thought. <laughs> so we're going to start by putting these two pieces together. OK, so I'm going to just keep those where they are. And we're going to put this piece onto this. Now, if I just sewed straight across here, I could wouldn't have any way of getting this one because that one's eventually going to go in there, fitting in. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put these right sides together. And this is one of the few times that I really, really do, hang on, really, really do use pins. I pin partial when I'm doing partial seams. I'm going to, we're going to stitch from about here. So you're going to leave, what, about an inch? Yeah, leave about an inch. Okay, so I'm going to start stitching about there. I'm going to put a pin in there so I know that that's where I'm starting to stitch. And I'm going to stitch right off the edge. Leave this bit free. Okay, I know a lot of you will have done partial seams before <coughs> excuse me but a lot of you won't have so I just thought this is a nice one for us to go through again do we have this one in stock we do I believe it's on our website lovely check the website it's called soiree but we should have it it should be in the charm pack section I think we've got three or four of them left hopefully if it's not there um I will get them on because I know we've got some so anyway, you're going to stitch along there. OK, use the quarter inch seam allowance. We're going to back stitch, which I know we again, we don't often do. But we're going to back stitch to start with quarter, quarter inch all the way around. OK, so over here we go. Hopefully this is in the right place because it all moved when I was getting angry with Facebook. <laughs> here we go. And I'm going to start just get my threads caught. There we go. We're going to start at the pin or just just by the pin. OK. I'm going to take that pin out now so I don't stitch onto it. Back stitch first and then down we go. Just do your quarter inch seam allowance like that. Cut my thread. You don't need to back stitch at the end, okay? So if I come back over to here, hopefully you can see. I'm going to hold it up quite high. Can you see that I've just stitched a partial seam? This bit here isn't attached, all right? We're going to press it. Um, you've never done partial seams before, so learning a lot. Oh, it's honestly they're really, really easy to do, but they they can people can get a bit scared of them. A bit like curves. Okay, we're going to press everything towards the bigger piece. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. Little press like that. Get me iron. Should wake up, woke up. Gently press that out. Now try not to iron this bit to start with. Okay, we're just going to put the tip of the iron along that seam there okay the bit that's sewn don't iron this bit at the minute you don't want to crease it too much okay that's my first one in this one now you can see it's going to sit here and fits in nicely along there so we're going to work anti-clockwise round so right sides together like that and i'm going to stitch along okay but because i've got this little seam I'm going to flip it so that I know that so I can control this. OK, so just make sure that you you've got your if you can, wherever possible, ha, if this is flat, have your seams face up so you can control it. So we're going to stitch down there. And over we go. Put you back over here now. Again, pin it if you want to. I tend to pin the first bit, but then leave the rest of it. I'm fine with the rest of it. There we go. Down that one. There we go. And, um, <laughs> oh, don't worry about being late, lovely. It's fine. Absolutely fine. And then again, I'm going to press out to the bigger piece. OK, so just set my seam and then roll that one out. Like that. There. 
now I've got a nice full seam there that I can put my top one onto so that's going on like that so I'm just going to very quickly put that one on and then I'll show you how to deal with this one and that funny seam there okay so oh back over we go oh I'm get, I've got to get another little iron when I get back over to the shop that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go online and order a little iron because this big one's driving me potty <laughs> Here we go, down that seam there. Oh, Dave just brought Sarah over for a lunch. Some homemade falafel. They were very nice. Really good. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to set that seam. Sorry, I know you can't really see this, but let me get the ironing board over a bit. <laughs> a dirty, dirty cutting press board. I wish I didn't really need to give it a good scrub like that. Okay, so put three sides well I'll put two and a bit sides on <laughs> now I want to put this one in here okay but I want to be able to get to the end of this center square so pin this back back out of the way and this is why you do the partial seam pin it out of the way so this that very first one you we did pull it back I mean don't pull too hard just gently you know ease it back pop a pin in it because that means that that now will sit in there and I can get to this corner. So over we go like that. Again, I'm just gonna pop a pin in, grab another pin. There we go, like that. And we're gonna stitch down that one first and then I'll show you how to finish this bit off. You've just ordered, fab. <laughs> that was quick going, Marilyn, Marion, sorry. There we go, it's there. Oh, I didn't turn it round, never mind. I'm just gonna be careful to make sure that seam is flat. There we go, down we go on that one. I'm back over to here, so I'm going to take that pin out and I'm going to just quickly press that just exactly as we did the others out to the bigger rectangle, like that. And now we can deal with this piece here. Okay, so we're going to add this piece all the way along there. So <clears throat> I'm going to fold it over, and that's why you don't really want to iron that unless you have to because you've got you don't want any funny creases. And don't worry too much about this here. You're not going to touch this bit, okay? Because that's already, it, I've stitched to, give me a pin. There's my, that's where I've started stitching. So don't worry about this. We're going to start stitching here and we're going to go down like that. So just line it all up, fold it over, line it all up, pop a pin in. And again, we're going to stitch from there and back stitch and come all the way off the end. Um, What's that? It's handy having an iPad watch here whilst you're watching you. <laughs> Indeed. It's like, oh, I like that. Let's get one. <laughs> the Thimble Pots, actually, from yesterday, they've sold quite well too, which is good. So if you did like them, I'm going to grab one where you can, guys. Oh, hang on. I moved over in a bit. So I don't know if I can pour it over here. I'm going to put the needle and I'm going to back stitch where I started the previous seam and then just sew off. So that's the only tricky bit, really, is just getting that needle in the right place to make that seam. And that's it. A quarter of your block is done. It's all, it's all done. And that's all there is to a partial seam. It's just that little half bit, remembering to do a half bit at the beginning. So when that goes out now, my block's done. Okay, we'll just quickly press that. Nice and carefully. There we go. And if you always press out to the bigger piece, you can see it lies nice and flat as well. Okay. You want to square this up to six and a half. It should be pretty much six and a half, but it's just worth double checking. Okay. So you might have a little widgy bit. So I'm actually using um, the lines on the ruler to make sure that that center square is quite nice. So I'm looking for my six and a half and six and a half. But actually, my four is the four and a quarter lines. If I do that, I don't know if you can see. I'm using the lines here on my ruler to make sure that that's really nice and square around that center bit, that center square. Um, it looks up. It's a real quickie little one, but brilliant for a charm pack. Brilliant for a layer cake. Uh, not layer cake. Um, well, you could be done with a layer cake as well. Oh yeah, you get loads out of a layer cake, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, you can see that I've just got a widgy bit to cut off not much just a little bit of that serrated edge oh missed a bit there we go and then square up again this way so six and a half here six and a half there 
like that. Basically just getting rid of a bit, a bit of that serrated pink edge, aren't I? That was it to come off. Okay, there's your block done. Or now you could just make lots and lots and lots of that size. That's a six and a half inch block out of your charm pack and put them all together. Or you can do them, like I said, make four at a time. Okay, which actually is just it's just the same as making those. You're just going to make four like that. And you're just going to, I just rotated them each time, but they're actually, it doesn't really matter because they're always the same way. So it doesn't overly matter, but I've put four together there for a block. Do you want me to run through that partial seam just very quickly again? Because I've got another little one here. Because Rather than me coming backwards and forwards, I'll do all the sewing and just get to the end bit. So should we just do the start and end bit just for every, but anybody that didn't quite get it the first time. Okay, so we're going to lie this out like this okay so there's the block like that we're going to start at the bottom so six o'clock on the clock and then go round anti-clockwise so right sides together there we go um pin in leave about an inch unsewn and we're going to stitch along there okay and i'll put i'll put them on really quickly to get onto the end bit so talk to me please the darlings uh, you can make jumbo versions with a layer cake. Yes, it would be a really quick, easy make. That would be fantastic. In fact, I'm going to write this little pattern up, and I've written it up. I've written it up for a jelly and a, a charm pack. So actually, if you want, I'll do the measurements for the you know that you would get out of um, a layer cake as well. Um, I'll do that too. Well, it'd basically be a five-inch square in the centre, wouldn't it? Instead of a two and a half. And then they would be five and you'd want to trim them down to nine and a half um, to get your layer cakes. Um, I missed the beginning. What size did you cut, please? Pat, so I chose four of my charm squares and the center squares are two and a half by two and a half. And then the outside pieces are two and a half by four and a half. Um, and I used two charm pack squares. So I cut a charm pack in half to get them to be two and a half by five and then just trim down to four and a half and so i'm doing this just one really quickly but yeah i like the idea claire it would be lovely as a, a really big jumbo um jumbo quilt wouldn't it with a layer cake it would go together so quickly because this is a really quick little make this one as well nice and easy block to do but it's quite effective and it you know gives you that chance to have a play with the partial seam which people do get worried about there we go so just very quickly do that one there we go and then i'll just come back and show you that last little bit again just so that you've got it in your head so i've done that much i've done these sides this one here needs to come out of the way oh silly girl i pressed the wrong way the first time never mind i can make that work i just move that one out of the way that's going to, oh, that's going to give me a twist. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'll unpick this one because it'll annoy me. I should have ironed it out to there and I didn't that first one. I ironed it to the center. Okay. So lie that one out to get this one in. It's going to twist the seam. <gasps> that's going to really bug me. Now hang on two seconds, two seconds. I don't want to twist that seam. It's going to annoy me. I'm just going to snip that stitch there. So that I can make it go the other way, and I'll re-sew. I'll re-sew that in a minute. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. You sent your L block yesterday. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, we've had loads. We've had some really beautiful ones. In fact, actually, I'll do a little list this afternoon. I'll go back and put a couple of stitches in there. I'll do a list list this afternoon of all the ones we've got, and I'll pop it pop it up on the gigglers so everybody knows that there's has arrived. Okay. Now I can put that one in, and then I can do that thing again. So let me just put that one in. Uh, first sewn in four weeks. Oh, wow, bless you. Oh, well, I am I feel honoured that it was our sewing that you did. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. And there. Like that. That's better. Okay, let me just very quickly press that one out. There we go. And come back over here. Okay, and now because I that seems the right way, you really do want to make that seam go towards the the longer pieces because otherwise it's just a bit fiddly and twists. 
my fault for talking and not concentrating on my ironing. <laughs> there we go. So now, because I folded that over, I'm going to start stitching just here and go all the way across to finish that seam. So what was that? Two blocks in 10, 15 minutes. And that's when we're yabbering on. You know, you, you can get this done really, really quickly, this uh, block. But it's quite effective. It would look, I think it would look really nice, like um, a monochrome look. If you did like, you know, like black, greys and whites, you could do, um, you know, you could do black centre squares and then greys and whites on the outside. That would look quite cool. Um, I think it would look really, oh, I'm being rubbish today. I'm dropping stuff, getting stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, I mean, it's really pretty in these, these pretty little girly fabrics. Um, you know, they're proper little princess fabrics, aren't they? There we go. And there's another one made. And then we just square that up to six and a half again, just to get rid of any stretching or pullage or anything. So just making sure that my six and a half and six and a half is in. I'm using the lines on the ruler just to make sure that's nice and square in the center. Just get rid of any of those bits like that. There we go. And then six and a half, six and a half that way. So super simple little block today. Perfect to use up one of those random charm packs or jelly rolls that you've got lying around, you know, or that you bought in our sale. <laughs> there we go. And you can see there's two done nice and quickly like that. And then I could make another two, blah, blah, blah. You'd get, you basically you'll get six out of a charm pack. You'll get 16 this size. Okay. So I put four of them together like that. So, I mean, it would only be, it's a play mat size basically, isn't it? Without one, one charm pack. There's nothing stopping you pop in a little bit of sashing in between those four blocks and a little border on if you want to make it more of a, like a like a wheelchair or a pram quilt um, or use two you know two charm packs and make it bigger or a jelly roll if you used a jelly roll in fact i'll give you the sizings um come here i'll come back over here a second who's that uh it's a great little block yeah it's beautiful fabric as well isn't it really pretty super super simple little block as well uh, I'm still in holiday mode. I am. <laughs> I am still in holiday mode. I'm away again in three weeks' time. That's our big family holiday, the, the, the honeymoon that we're all going on. <laughs> um, Maureen Cara's very, very delayed honeymoon that actually is a whole family holiday now. Um, so, yeah, so if you're using a, charm pack, a one charm pack, um, you can get 16 of the little blocks out, okay? You'd get more if you maybe used a different fabric for your, your center square. They could be all the same. You know, if you were saying, I don't know, using a William Morris charm pack, you might decide you were going to go for a rich red in the center and then use all the colors on the outside. You could put sashing in between it as well if you wanted to, to make it bigger. With a jelly roll, you do choose four of your jelly roll strips and cut those down to your two and a half inch squares for your centers. You'd get 64. OK, out of four jelly roll strips and then from 32 jelly rolls of the rest of the jelly roll, you would cut two and a half by four and a half. And that would make all of these outside ones. And you could make. Uh, 48. Sorry, I couldn't read my own writing then. You'd make 48 of these little blocks, which would give you a quilt about 52 by 52 without any session. You know, you could make it bigger if you wanted to. So that's a nice, that's a really good, nice size quilt. Um, but I will finish, I was, it's all in note form at the moment because I've been playing around with stuff, but I will finish that up um, and write it up as a pattern and then pop it on the website if you want it. But to be honest, it's quite easy to do. It's quite a nice little one, pretty little block. You know, you could play around. In fact, actually, if I come over here a second, just before we go, um, if you play around with your colors, you could, you could get a pinwheel happening as a secondary. Can you see this pinwheel that's in the center here, there, 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 and there? If you made them, you could do it just in three colors. So you could do a light, medium, and a dark, and you'd have like a dark center, a light here, and then you'd end up with a pinwheel happening there. And then there'd be another one down here. If I put that one on like um, that, there we go. And then that one like that, you can see you get this other pinwheel thing happening. So you can really play around with it and play with your colours and your colour placement. Think about where you're you're putting the different colours and stuff. Um, you know, if you're using a jelly roll, I think it's really pretty to use. You know, I, I think I will probably put
put some sashing in between just to make this a little bit bigger and make this a little like a four you know 12 and a half inch block um with some sashing but play around with it play around see what you can come up with or dishing your fabrics before you get started so um claire hope your blog arrived it did lovely absolutely it did um there we go we'll come back and move it uh will you be posting a, uh, yes i'm gonna do that this afternoon um i'm just saying that lovely i'm gonna write a list now when i get back in we've got them all in a box so i'll type up a little list and pop it onto gigglers of those who've arrived um just so that you know yours because i know carolyn was saying about she was you know it'd be terrible if you know you'd posted it and then it it didn't arrive for some reason so um i will pop a little list on for that okay so that you know you know it's here you know we've got it um and it's going to be part of the quilt but it's been so lovely and all your little messages and all it's been lush really really nice seeing them all come in i'm excited to see the quilt um so that's it for today it's a relatively quick one says back tomorrow she's got convergence quilting um and we've had some new fabrics come into the shop as well so um we she's going to show you some of those too um, I'll try and get them on the website this afternoon. Um, and then um, I will see you next week, um, Tuesday next week. Um, have a lovely weekend. I know it's only Wednesday.